Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today I am going to share this kind of logo animation technique. There are lots of requests on the previous video. And as I promised, 30 comments, and I will make a separate tutorial on this kind of logo animation. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. So this is our animation. Making a full tutorial will be more than 30 minutes, so I am going to share the important parts of this logo animation. And I am sure that will be more than enough for creating the whole animation by yourself. So this portion is the most important portion of this animation. And I am going to show that portion, and trust me if you understand that portion correctly, rest is just piece of cake. I am also going to show how to animate this circle. And these cutoffs. So don't worry, you will get all the information you need. Let's create a composition first. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the subscribe button will be awesome. Also press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Alright, let's bring our logo into the timeline. You can also use the illustrator file or photoshop file. Let's add fill effect to change the color of our logo. We are going to use two stroke for each character. Here I am going to show the animation of the K letter. So one stroke will be the following path, and one will be the revealing path. But make sure you always make a copy of the logo. If you are using Illustrator or Photoshop file, then no need of that. Because there you will get different layer for every character. Lock this layer for now. Without selecting any layer, let's draw a straight line. It will be our following path. Just like this. Try to match the width of the stroke with the logo. Then take the pen tool. and create another path like this. It will be our reveling path. Adjust the width if needed. And try to adjust these lines according to your logo. Then place the following path under the logo layer. Now change the track mat to alpha mat. Let's add trim path on first layer. Make the stating value 100. Then add a keyframe on it. Then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 0. So it will be a simple stroke animation. Now we are going to add the trim path for this layer also. And we'll animate this in the same direction. But make sure to adjust the keyframe properly. Like this. So it looks like a single line. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. But once you easy ease, make sure to move these second layer keyframes by one frame. Just like this. You are wondering, that why we can't do the same thing with one stroke. Right? You can do that for this logo. But if you are using a logo which has the stroke of different width, then you can't do with the one stroke. So I'm showing you a way, in which you can do same kind of animations in all kinds of logo. Our first step is done. Let's unlock the logo layer, and make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl plus D. Lock the bottom layer. Select the layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Now we are going to animate I letter. So we are going to use the same technique. First draw the following path.
adjust the path if needed. Place it on the top of the logo layer. Here is the creativity works. I am going to draw the following path to all the way to the top. So just drag the last point to the top. Let's add trim paths on it. Make all the value 0, and add keyframe on end, then go forward to view frame, and change its value to 100. But make sure, you follow the sequence of the trim paths. When it goes up, this following path should not be there. To fix this, open the following layer. Go to trim paths, and add a keyframe on end, then go forward to few frames, and change its value to zero. Adjust the keyframe's position. So it should be end before the bottom one come to the top. I hope you understand, what I did here. After few frames, we will bring this down to the actual point. So after few frames, change the end value 0 again. So this is our animation till now. This looks little bit boring right? Let's make it interesting. Select these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, make sure you are in edit speed graph. Now select the middle point, and double click on it. Then check this box, and hit OK. Now change the graph carve something like this. Let's see the output. Nice. We can see the break and drop effect of the stroke there. Now when this stroke is coming down, we need to reveal this part of eye letter. For doing this, we will use the same technique. Let's draw a line according to the letter. Place it on the bottom of the logo layer. Add trim paths. And we'll animate the trim path top to bottom. Change the track mat to alpha mat. Now you can see what happens here. Now we need to place this keyframe properly. So it blends with the previous stroke animation properly. Place it middle of these keyframes. Adjust the keyframe slightly if needed. And it's done. If you understand till now, you are already completed 80% of this kind of logo animation. Alright, let's animate the dot of the eye letter. For this we don't need the following path. One revealing path will be enough for this. Take the pen tool, and create a path like this. Adjust the points if needed. Let's add trim path on it. First, change the end value 0 and add a keyframe on it, then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Now add this time frame, add a keyframe on start. Then go forward to few frames, and change its value to something like this. Because it will be the dot of the letter I. But in this type of case, you may face this problem. To fix this, open shape 1, the stroke 1, and change the line cap to projecting cap. And it's done. Then just adjust the start parameter value like this. Also adjust the path a little bit.
and it's done. Select the keyframe, and press F9 to easy ease them. So this is the output till now. Now adjust the timing of the keyframes. Press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this logo layer one more time. You can animate these stroke using same technique. It's time to see how to animate these kind of circles. For this, just take the ellipse tool, and create a circle like this. Adjust the position properly. Let's add trim paths on it. Make the both value 0. Add a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames, and changes its value to 100. Come back on this time frame, and add a keyframe on offset. Then for forward to few frames, and changes its value to a random value. And it's done. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's see how to make these cutouts. First select the circle layer. Take the Rectangle tool. Make sure you select Tool Creates Mask button. And just draw a shape like this. Now open Mask 1. Change the mode to Subtract. Then add a keyframe on Mask Path, then come back to Few Frames. And change the path points something like this. Just try to match them as possible as you can. Let's see the animation. Perfect. I am just showing you the techniques, you can take your own time to adjust the timings of the keyframe. You can do the same thing for this circle also. Let me show you how to make these kind of tails. It's quite simple. Go to the bike composition, delete the sample logo layer when all animations done. So this is our animation by far. Select all the layers. And pre-compose them. Give it a name you like. Go to the project window, and from here make a duplicate of this logo main composition. Bring it on the timeline. Open it. And decrease the stroke width values of the all stroke layers. Also change the color to a different color. Just one suggestions, always try to name the layers, it will be easy for this kind of animation. Go back to main composition, and offset the second composition by one or two frames. And it's done. You can make multiple tails like this. So this is all I think. I tried to cover every single part of this logo animation. If I miss anything, please let me know in the comments. This video takes a lots of time to create. Hope you guys get something useful from this video. Thank you for watching. If you are new please hit the subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next video, till then have fun, and stay safe.